Welcome to the brand new Kids Good Digest with Rob and Fiona, a brand new news show where twice a week Rob and Fiona and sometimes a surprise guest bring you all the news you need to know for this week. And some news you really didn't need to know as well, plus a good bit of commentary you probably didn't ask for. All right, let's get started. It's January 16th, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I hope you're enjoying your day off. And we got a couple of pretty big news stories this week. Let's start with the biggest one, which no doubt everyone is talking about. It's all over social media. It's so popular, even my grandma knows about it. Nintendo's Switch console has finally emerged. Nintendo held a global event Thursday night showing off what the console can really do. I literally stayed up all night till after 11 p.m. just to watch this freaking event, and I honestly was impressed. The console looks fresh. I'll admit the game lineup is a little bit lackluster, but that's part of the course for Nintendo. If you want to know more, I wrote a massive story over on Kitsuga.com, which you can check out. We'll link it on the screen right now. I'm really looking forward to the idea of playing Breath of the Wild on my TV and then being able to pick up the console and go to work and keep playing. I already finished my pre-order. I'm not really excited about this. The idea is kind of interesting, but all Nintendo's consoles are like eight years behind. It's got some cool ideas, but it's still going to be way less powerful than the PS and Xbox. They seem to be trying to diversify over graphics, and that's stupid. I'm not going to get one. Either way, this event confirmed to me that Zelda Breath of the Wild will be a launch title, which is all I really cared about anyways. Okay, so there's also Bomberman. I care about Bomberman, but that's that's just kind of a fetish. <laughs> uh, you're going to be so disappointed. Next up this week, is Microsoft trying to get serious about gamers? They seem to be. Microsoft announced this week that Microsoft Insiders will be getting in their next freebie build a Windows 10 game mode which will fine-tune your PC to speed up gaming performance. I don't believe it when it works. Honestly, Microsoft, this is just a shot in the dark for you guys. What do you even mean by tuning up? You're going to optimize UWP finally, or maybe fix games that can't run in windowed mode? No, nope. I guess we'll have to see when it comes out. I'm detecting some angst there, Fox. Not a fan of Microsoft? I just really have no faith that they can actually deliver on anything that they promise. Okay, the real question is, what are they even promising here? Well, what they've said so far is that both of their platforms, Xbox and PC, will receive an upgrade that helps you connect to your friends on social networks, a more friendly activities feed, a better tools for clubs and looking for group posts, and the option to start your own arena tournaments in games like Killer Instinct and World of Tanks. Okay, well, that's nice and all to be able to do, like, prior to getting into a game, but on honestly, most games have that already, so why would they bother? I don't know, man. Whether it works or not, people who aren't in the Insiders program won't even be getting this feature for several months. So I'm going to go ahead and reserve my judgment for when it comes to the masses. Next up is a little bit of non-gaming news. Oh, oh, let me do this one. Let me do this one. <sighs> Calm down. Fine. Go ahead and do it. So a series of unfortunate events got released on Netflix on the 13th, Friday the 13th. So they released the series. <laughs> okay, so what the heck is it and why should I care? Okay, so A Series of Unfortunate Events was a series of books written in, the, written in the late 90s about a trio of orphans who use their smarts to escape from the evil Count Olaf. They have a ton of cool adventures along the way. Definitely one of my favorite book series when I was growing up and I was a kid, and now Netflix is bringing it to life. The sets are amazing, the characters are super well cast, and it's honestly freaking awesome. So, Evil Narnia? No. Not, not at all. Not, yeah. Just read the next news story. Okay, next up, we got some drama to close out our newscast. YouTuber and pro gamer Kostef has gotten himself in a little bit of legal trouble over the new TK Game Fuel house in Georgia. Cobb County, Georgia, just outside Atlanta, is bringing a lawsuit against him for running a business in a home without a business license. The complaint alleges that he and the six others who live there cannot run a business from their home. This is a story that is completely blown up in the past couple of days. It's being framed as a classic battle of good old boys versus new money. If you've never heard of Kostef, he's one of many gamers who have had made mad money on YouTube and set up a business around his channel and even an esports organization and a whole team. And then they moved that team into an opulent house in Georgia. There are several organizations, other organizations that do this, and a lot of them have had issues similar because they're vlogging in the house, they're running everything out of the house. Kostaf should have known he's running a business, and and I, I think at the point that he, they're at, they can't claim it's a hobby. And I know that it's, it's I feel it's a silly case, and no one wants to be in this kind of trouble. Get your business license, call today, and snap your nose at your neighbors. Or go find a place with practices more in line with your beliefs. I really wish things like this wouldn't happen, but so many people run 
home businesses that and they do so you know with, they have to have all the proper permits and all that other fun stuff and it's annoying to be sure but the laws are set up that way so i hope they find a new place and they keep pushing out content that people really love i could not disagree with you more completely disagree this is just a dude in a house with his friends trying to make a living after they get their business license later on they uh, they should be allowed to stay instead the hoa is still digging up more stuff Right now, they're fighting against a bullshit rag against how you can't have more than two non-family members in your house. This is a house with five bedrooms, a huge basement, and a giant space. It's a freaking mansion, guys. It's a southern-style mansion. And this HOA is trying to kick them out because they have more than two non-family members living there. Yeah, and that sucks, but it's a homeowners association. They have all these shitty rules. You know this. Homeowners associations are always like this. You hear this all the time. And I do feel bad for them, but... It's you should know you should look into those kind of regulations when you join that homeowners association because they're all different. But again, hopefully they can get their license and stay in their house and beat these stupid rigs. All right, you guys, that's all the time we have for today. This has been the first ever Kate's Good Digest. So don't forget to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. All the links are going to be in the description. If you want to participate in any of our content, drop us a line on Discord. We're always hanging out there. It's the best way to reach us. Unless you're a 4chan troll, in which case we'll probably ban you. And of course, if you enjoyed the show, please leave a like, leave a comment. I read every single comment on every one of these videos. That's it, guys. Have a great rest of your day.